Today we're going to attempt to make a DIY trellis for my Stephania erecta. Hi everyone, welcome to the Feline Jungle. My name is Viona and if you're new to this channel, my channel is all about plants. If you're passionate about plants and cats, then hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get my videos weekly. <laughs> As you can see, my Stephania has grown a lot more since my last update. Now there's two growth points and they both have leaves coming out and it's so heavy that it's draping onto the side. Actually, I have it leaning on a wall so that these leaves don't snap, but I have to do something about it. And I decided why not make it a DIY trellis? I've had previous videos where I show updates on how I made it sprout and this time it's not really an update video, I'm just using it to make a DIY trellis. The leaves have gotten a lot longer and since my last update there's two growth points so there's two stems coming out of here and it's just very heavy and it leans onto the wall. It's gonna snap anytime soon so it needs some kind of support. I've made a DIY trellis before. The first one I made was for my Hoya Matilda. It was a very simple circle shape. I just used one piece of wire and I just wrapped it around. It was very simple, so this time I want to challenge myself and make more unique trellis. I looked onto Pinterest and Etsy and I came up with something that's kind of inspired by the rainbow. Here's a sketch that I made and basically I have one piece of wire that's going to curve and wrap around to make an abstract rainbow shape and then it's going to come down into the soil again. So hopefully this works. The first thing we're going to do before I even try to make a trellis is actually repot my Stephanie Erecta. Now it's in a small terracotta pot from Atrium Studio. It's a Korean brand and before I had it in a very small pot just because it was transitioning. So I didn't want to give it something too big where I would overwater it and it would rot. So I'm kind of transitioning it slowly into a bigger pot. This is going to be the pot that I'm going to put it in. There's a lot more space for it to grow and also for me to stick the trellis in it. I'm really excited to make a trellis for my Stephanie Erecta because a year ago I didn't even think it would give me a new leaf, let alone be like long enough to actually need some kind of support for the leaves. To keep the mess contained, I'm gonna use this plant tarp over here. I'm also gonna use the potting mix that I made in my previous video. Here, put the pot here. I have to be really gentle with this, oh my god. It gives me a panic attack even taking it off my plant shelf. We're gonna start with putting a layer of soil on the bottom, just so it's not completely sitting on the bottom of the pot. You want about like two inch of soil inside. Then now we're gonna make the move. I remember the roots were very delicate, so I'm really afraid to break them by just pulling it. So I'm gonna use my finger to kind of dig up the roots so I'm not completely just like pulling it out of the soil. I'm just teasing it up. Whoa! Can you see this? There's some primary roots. There's two primary roots and all the tiny ones are on the bottom over here. Not as many roots as I expected. So now we're gonna put it, I'm gonna move it towards the front so I have more room in the back to put the trellis. Okay, so now it definitely has a lot more room to grow. There's actually a new stem forming over here, so I'm anticipating a lot more leaves. So this is good that it has more room to grow. So you see how there's like about half of an inch of space on each side. That's pretty good 
um, transition for pots from this to this. What you're going to need for this DIY trellis project is some galvanized wire or some copper wire. I'm using galvanized wire because it has zinc coating on it so it won't rust as easily. And this is a 12 gauge wire so it's pretty thick. It's like one eighth of an inch so it's pretty hard for me to move and bend this so we'll see how this goes with all that curve that i have to make the next thing you're gonna need is some twine it's optional you don't really need this i kind of like the aesthetic of having the twine wrapped around it i don't think it has any other benefits other than aesthetically pleasing but i like how it looks i feel like it gives it a more finished look when you wrap twine around it and you will also need some wire cutters now that we have all the tools that we need, I kind of have to estimate how much wire I'm going to need because this is just going to be one piece of wire that I'm going to curve and everything. So at least I need to calculate how deep this trellis is going to go into the pot. So I think this is around three inches. So it's going to need three inches so that this can fully sink into the soil and be stable or else it's just gonna wobble around and we don't want that. So we want an additional three inches already here. And then I kind of want it to be this tall, like a foot tall. And then I have to gauge how much I'm gonna curve around it. So I'm gonna guess like this much wire I'm going to need and I kind of want it to curve down too so I'm going to need enough to go down so I'm going to say this much I'm just going to wing it and say this much it's about three inches plus a foot up and then a foot down and then any curve that happens within it so I would say around three feet of wire. So I'm gonna cut it. The last time I cut it, I needed help, but we'll see how I do this time. Honestly, I'm using like Ikea wire cutters and not even real wire cutters. They're pliers with that centerpiece that's for wire cutting. So it's not the best tool ever, but that's all I've got. And I'm gonna use all my energy to try to break this wire. Okay. Thanks. Okay, now that you have your one piece of wire, we're gonna bend it to the shape that we want. So referring back to my sketch, I kind of wanna make these curves kind of like the rainbow. We'll see how this goes. I think I overestimated my abilities to bend wire. <laughs> this does not look like my sketch. <laughs> so kind of there, I kind of had the shape that I was looking for. So now I'm just gonna refine it and make it look perfect. I think this would be a lot easier if you got another gauge of wire because this 12 gauge one is really hard to bend. I wonder if copper wire is also more malleable than galvanized wire. So I want it to be the same width as the pot, then that way it doesn't look like it's oversized. You should watch my other reel where I made the circle one for the Hoya Matilda. It's a lot easier than what I'm doing right now. I should have made a video on that instead. But I wanted to challenge myself. So here we are. Now we just have to cut the excess. So this is the bottom, so this is the extra. So we're just gonna cut off this extra one. 
Okay, now that we got the shape, what we're gonna do is wrap it with twine. I like wrapping it with twine too is because the pliers I used, it wasn't covered with rubber. So you can see these marks where I tried to bend it. It doesn't look perfect. And by covering it with the twine, I think it'll smooth out any of these awkward edges that I have here and give it a more finished look. So we're gonna do that. And for the twine, you just have to start where the top of the soil starts. You don't have to go all the way from the bottom because all that is just gonna be in the soil. It's gonna get wet. It's probably gonna not look nice. This is the top of the soil. This is where we're gonna start. And what I'm gonna do is just tie a knot. Like this. Tie a knot like this, just like this. And I'm gonna tuck this end of the string right onto the wire. So when I wrap it, it's gonna hide the end of the string and give it a more finished look. So we're gonna start doing this. This is the easy part. <laughs> when you do it, you want to make sure it's nice and tight so that your string doesn't move around. <laughs> He's not interested. Yeah, this inner portion is definitely harder. And also, I think when I made the circle trellis last time, I used a lot less wire and it was tinier. So, this time it feels like it's a little bit more work, but I'm kind of curious to see how the final result looks like. So now we're about, I think we're about 70% there. What do you think? I think it looks a lot better. Definitely a lot better than what I thought it would be. We just gotta continue and see how it looks. Very end. So, I'm gonna keep wrapping this. Okay, so here we are right here. So here we are. I finished wrapping the twine around it. It looks a lot better than I expected. Now I just have to fix the shape to give it that final finished look. I think we're good to go. So let me just do that right now. Do that real quick. Okay, what do you think? How's it look? Not bad for the first time with a complicated shape. So now I'm just going to stick it in. Hope for the best. Okay, so it wasn't stable and I think it's because the pot is curved. So we had a so we have to curve the bottom part to be the same shape as the pot so it sticks in more. Does it move? 
Okay, it doesn't move, so now it's stable. So if you have a pot like mine, it's good for you to curve the bottom so it fits in with the pot. Otherwise, it'll just go against the shape of the pot and it'll be unstable. Okay, so now that we have the trellis secured in place, now we can wrap the leaves around it. So I'm gonna do that carefully because I don't wanna snap the leaves. Now that I've gone this far into the process, that would literally be the worst. It's actually not bad. I thought this would be worse, but I'm kind of happy with how it turned out. It looks really cute. All the, all the leaves are wrapping around that rainbow shape that I have here. And then it's perfect because then this gets the trellis on top and then I have all the leaves on top. So it's like a little bulb and then you have all these floating leaves. I kind of like it. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty proud of myself. I'm gonna bring back my original DIY trellis, which is this circle one, compared to this funky, fun one that I made for my Stephanie Erecta. I think it's pretty cool. I like how they kind of complement the plant. So this one, I like how it's circular for the Hoya Matilda, just cause like it has circular leaves and it looks really cute. And then this one, the Stephanie Erecta is so funky. I thought it needed something that was more characteristic and more fun for it. And I'm glad that I tried to make this DIY trellis for it because I'm pretty satisfied with how it looked comparing to my first original sketch here. This is the idea that I want to go for, and then this is the product. I think it's pretty close, so I'm pretty satisfied, even though I had to like improvise a bit. I think learning from my mistakes, it would have been a lot easier to wrap the twine around the wire before I started bending it, because it was just such a pain wrapping the wire after I made all these curves because the twine kept getting stuck in all these places. So thinking back, I think it would have been a lot easier if I just wrapped it first and then bend it. I hope I inspired you guys to make your own DIY trellis, whether it's a simple one like this or more complicated that I have right here. If you guys liked it and it inspired you to make your own DIY trellis, then don't forget to comment and tag me on Instagram so I can see all your amazing projects. Thank you so much. And here's a 10 second challenge. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with all your friends. Thank you and see you next week. Bye. Cuckoo, 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 cuck